Hello everyone, welcome back to another stream. I hope you're all doing well and having a wonderful, beautiful, amazing day today. Before we really do a whole lot, to be honest, one, I feel like it sounds extra echoey in here, not necessarily with the stream, but I feel like for some reason, like the room in person sounds extra echoey. Second thing, I need for those of you who are here to help me with a bit of a science experiment, which I'll explain in a second. So I have this reusable water bottle and I need to wash my Stanley at the moment. So I went and I grabbed this so I could have water for the stream, right? And it's empty. Look, there, there's nothing in there. You can't see anything. There's nothing in there at all, right? This is empty. <laughs> um, so then I like moved it around and I heard this noise coming from it and I was like, well, what's that? So I kept shaking it deliberately to try and hear it. And I swear it sounds like there's water in there, but there's not, at least not that I can see it. So I'm gonna be quiet for a second and I'm gonna turn the desktop audio off and I'm gonna shake it for you guys and let me know if you hear it too. Cause if you don't, either the mic doesn't pick it up or I've just lost my mind. So here we go. Do you hear it at all? Because I swear it sounds like there's water in there. One more time. Doesn't it sound like there's water in there? There's not, I swear. You guys don't hear anything? Okay, well, like if you could picture, like if you had a cup and there was water in it and you were like shaking the cup a little bit and you could hear the water sloshing around, that's what it sounds like, I swear. But there's nothing in it. I didn't put anything in there. Okay, I'm gonna turn the game audio back on now and then switch over so I can talk to you guys and play the game. But yeah, it's just, it's really weird. I don't really understand what exactly happened. I almost just deleted my tune. I'm not used to like clicking here. I'm used to wanting to click something like this. So thank goodness I didn't just delete them. <laughs> you heard Clash and you were summoned, you're good. I was gonna stream this a few days ago, but then that didn't work out. By the way, before I do anything else, I wanna say hello to you all. So hello Megs, hello Crowley and hello Bill. Welcome in everyone. I do have actual water with me though. It's just in a different bottle because the other cup needs to be washed. But that's weird, like I swear it sounds like water. First time, no sound. The second time, sound, what kind of magic is this? I know, like I, I showed you guys for proof. It's empty, I swear it is. Your catalog. Number two, series one has arrived. You can go to your, um, okay. I don't really know what that is. Okay. I have to familiarize myself all over again with the movement in this game because I'm still not quite used to it. No, don't turn the screen like that, Lexi. There we go. Need to zoom out a little more. Okay, I think this will work. Oh, and by the way, Crowley, while you're here, um, is there a running mechanism in this game? Like, can I click shift or something and run? If you want to go Q or E, I'm not sure which it is. You can bring up your task. Okay. Well, I already have this open, but I will try to remember that. No promises, because I'm very forgetful. I'm gonna go to the punchline gym. It's Toontown Central, but I don't remember. Is that like a specific tunnel I have to go into or can I find that just from here? I can't remember. Oh wait, it's over here. See, I can be smart sometimes. <laughs> Hit shift, okay. I guess maybe that just means that water somehow got trapped like on the inside walls of the cup. I don't know how else to describe that. Um, I don't know how that happened, but at this point, I don't know how long it's been there for. That water might be moldy or something. I'm trying to see if I can find it on my own. I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna try. It is strange that it sounded like there was water. I know. I guess it just means maybe there's like a microscopic hole in it that like trapped a bunch of water. It says punchline gym. I just have to look for that then. I don't know where it is on the map, so I'm just staying on the side until I find it. Okay, that's not it. I'm probably walking away from it and Crowley's probably like physically cringing. I really don't remember where it is. I just know it's over here somewhere. You know, that's back at the entrance. I'm gonna be 
very impressed with myself if I can figure this out without help. How was everyone's weekend though? How was your week in general? I hope you had a good day today. Yesterday was really productive for me and fairly busy. Yesterday was also productive, just not as much. Okay, no, that's not the gym. Where's the gym? I don't know. My weekend has been good. I'm so glad. I think if you hit alt, it might be a different keybind for you. You can bring up a map when you're on the streets. Um, let me try it. So I'm right here. But I don't know where the gym is still. Oh, a farts. No, did not mean to go right there. Also, by the way, Crowley, do you mind explaining to me what this high roller thing is? Because I heard Ashlyn talking about it, but I don't really understand. I mean, it's also, no, you're good. Mine was all as well. I didn't really know what I wanted to stream today, but I decided to try and squeeze in a stream, and thankfully I was able to. Um, but I didn't know what to stream, so I just ended up streaming Toontown since the other day it didn't work out. Where is this gym? I'm not even looking at these. I probably should be. I love embarrassing myself. I probably could have found it by now if I was using that. Oh yeah, sure, give me a moment, you're good. I stayed up late last night and watched my all-time favorite band reunite and play Coachella. This is their first time playing together in nine years. I love it, that was fun. I haven't actually watched anything for Coachella. I mean, I know what it is, but I've never like watched it. I feel like it's probably somewhere obvious and I've also probably walked past it, just realistically. Wait, it says that there were used steamboats. I can, can I get a boat? Or no, not steamboats. <laughs> used clown cars, I mixed up my words. Oopsies. Okay. Where is this gym? I'm losing it. I really am, truly. Okay, I, I, I need help now. <laughs> I tried it by myself for a while. Oops, hit the water bottle. I tried it by myself for a while and I have not been able to figure it out and I'm just wandering around at this point. Where? Where is it? I don't know. I can't see what that sign says up there. What does that say? Can't zoom out any more than that, so I don't know what that says. I'm just going in. It's basically the April Fool's boss for Clash. It has three different phases, which all entail different things. This is definitely not the right area. Please let me out, please and thanks. This room is very glitchy, oh my gosh. I think the game is still in beta, isn't it? It was amazing, I love No Doubt so much, I really hope they decide to go on tour again. Phase one is mini games, basically. Trivia, shuffle, which is like the cup shuffle game, and puzzle, which requires you to hit cogs with a specific gag type while also killing them. If you move your camera down a tiny bit, you can probably read the shop and street names better. You mean... Oh, you mean like that, okay. I'm probably still not gonna be able to find it, but thank you anyways. Where? Where is, I've been literally just been wandering around. You know what? <laughs> hello, Nick Gamer, welcome to the stream. And hello, Take Love, welcome to the stream as well. 
I'm currently losing my mind because I'm looking for a certain location in this game and it doesn't have a navigation arrow at the bottom. So <laughs> it's taking me a while. But thank you everybody for being so patient with me. I appreciate you. I feel like for some reason I remember it being in like an orangey building. Phase 3 is kind of hard to explain. Phase 2 requires you to defeat as many cogs as you can in 5 rounds. I think you might be on the wrong street. You know what, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna try to find my way out of here. Oh. I shouldn't have stood in the middle of the street, but I'll be okay. It's fine. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not gonna win this, Crowley, but I'm gonna try. I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know if it worked. the lure and throw though because I like have none left hello Hannah welcome in okay so I honestly feel like I got lucky with that like I easily could have died <laughs> I'm going back in here because this is where I came from I probably did go on the wrong street but I feel like whenever you were helping me the other day when I played this for the first time because I went in there at once to be able to get the quest and I feel like I got to the, sh the gym pretty quickly. Like, it wasn't too, too far away. I'm probably just not going in the right direction. Let me check again. Phase 3 High Roller basically summons four different minions, and depending on what color they are, depends on what order you kill them in. I feel like I'm probably going to forget a lot of this very easily, but thank you so much for explaining it to me anyways. <laughs> Um, I just, I feel like I hear a lot of people in her community talk about it and I'm like, what is that? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Oh, I think I, I think I get what I did wrong now. Okay, hold on. Yeah, okay, I went on the wrong street. That was what I messed up on. Oopsies, I was supposed to go in here. It's okay though. If you ever want to run it, I'll be totally up for it. I'm not going to lie. I don't have very much confidence in myself to be able to win that. But I really appreciate the fact that you would want to help me. Hello, Sigma. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I like the, the icon that you have. I have a really cursed Roblox outfit that is half Shrek Goblin and half Chicken Nugget at the moment. It has that exact face on it. I don't think it's too, too far away from here. I feel like it's gotta be somewhere close by. That one, maybe it's over here. I can't be too far away. Okay, let's try to pull up the map again, maybe? No, wait, not that map, no. It's really okay, it can be kind of confusing, but literally anyone can run it since there's no level requirement. I get it though. I just feel like it's a little too soon for me to try that due to just the fact that I've, this is only my second time playing. I'm spacing, what key is it to bring up the... Okay, no, not that one. You? No. Okay, so I guess I need to turn around. Go that way and then turn. Okay. I can do this, right? <laughs> I can do this without getting horribly lost. Hey, 
There it is. Thank you, Edward Frank, complimented for my face, but you're you're welcome. <laughs> it's just that that expression just reminded me of the chicken nugget outfit that I put on. I don't like the way this room shakes like that, though. I thought I went in the right place, and now I'm not so sure. Um, High Roller will be around until May 6th, so I think you have time if you want to run it. Around that time, I'm going to be generally busy. I My birthday is on the 9th, and then I'm going to a wedding on the 11th. That's several hours away. I'm so sorry for the shakiness. I believe this game is still in beta. This was the right place. Okay, well, I'm glad I found it then. Do I have any other tasks I'm forgetting about? Is it time to pump iron? Uh, wait, where is it? In the playground, okay. I can find that. If I was able to find my way out of here, I can find that, right? You just have to believe, right? I feel like for somebody that's only played this twice now, barely, I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Thank you for subscribing, welcome to the community. Your birthday's on the 7th? We're almost birthday twins. I was almost a Gemini. I was almost born in June, but then just for some reason, I came out an entire month early. Completely surprised, attacked my mom in the process. Literally. You know, that's not the playground. Playground's over there, I think. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to figure it out by myself. That's not the playground. Oh, okay. No, while I'm over here, I do need to I do need to get more lure and throw. I think I go in here to do that. Oh, okay. I was like, huh? <laughs> but thank you for clarifying. what I was saying about it. So my mom went in for her 36 week appointment to check on me, I guess, before I was born. And then as soon as she stepped up from the table and she was done, I apparently broke her water and sent her into labor for funsies a whole month early. <laughs> now, what was it that I need to do? Where in the playground are you? Do an HQ. I think I know where that is. Right here. See, I'm learning. I'm capable of learning this game. My mom was literally at work on night shift when she went into labor with me. I love that for both of us, though. <laughs> now on to your next task. Professor Ufa has been working tirelessly to teach tunes how to laugh effectively, causing the cogs to laugh as well. Cog simply cannot take a joke. However, her jokes and lessons have been spiraling downwards lately as her material is running thin. So will be assigned to this task to see if you have what it takes to get her classes back in order. Head on over to Professor Kabat, laughing lessons on Silly Street, and see what you can do to help. I think that was the first street that I went to whenever I meant to go uh, to the punchline gym. I think I share a birthday with Mr. Beast, so take that as you will. I... Actually, wait, hold on. Do I share a birthday with any celebrities? I don't think I do. No, that one's Punchline Place. The other one that I need to go to is over here. Oh wait, Crowley, you know what you should do? You should look up what Animal Crossing villager you share a birthday with. I share one with Bunny. 
Not a bunny, but her name is literally just Bunny. Okay, so where in particular is this character? At the Laughing Lessons place. I know for sure that I'm on the right street this time. I just don't know where exactly that store is. So we're just gonna have to meander a little bit and figure it out. But at least I'm on the right street, so it shouldn't take too terribly long. I think mine is Ozzy. Ozzy's a good villager. That's not it. Okay, let me just get on the sidewalk so I don't get roped in again. I got lucky that time. Like, I easily could have lost that. But I remembered you and Saturn were both saying lure than throw, lure than throw. Basically, like, you alternate between the two. Okay, I don't see it over here. I think it's right there, that laughing place. Let me just check one more time. Laughing lessons. So is that, I guess, a different thing? I don't know, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in. If you use lure and throw, lure and it successfully hits, and you throw, the throw does more damage. And thanks for letting me know. I don't think I went in the right area still. Is there something I can do for my screen settings to make it not like shake like that sometimes? go to the wrong place. Well, in my defense, I thought for some reason the part that said laughing lessons was the name of part of the task, but it was like the literal title of the building. I presume you're here to learn how to laugh properly, correct? Let me jump right into it. I'm a professional after all. I'm loving the fit here. It's giving Goofy from Mickey Mouse, but like ready to go on a backpack adventure and also a birthday party. I think something in settings up for it, I'm not sure. I'll have to check at some point. <laughs> or the chicken cross the road because the road was too long to go around. I heard that that actual chicken cross the road joke when you say why the chicken cross the road to get to the other side it's because the hypothetical chicken in question gets hit by a car and to go to the other side side means that the chicken's going to heaven and i didn't understand that that was what that was supposed to imply until i got to my current age so the more you know I've only played this twice and I'm already developing the habit of clicking through really fast. I do that in Wizard Ball 1, and I've never played this game, so I need to not. Okay. Settings. That's a cog gallery. Never mind.
horizontal camera sensitivity. Um, do you think either one of these could be the culprit? No, I don't want to exit Toontown. That's not what I meant. <laughs> okay, well, I thought one of those would help, but it didn't, unfortunately. It's okay, though. Oh, and at some point, I'm going to go back to try the... I don't know if it's Trolley or Trolley, but I want to try those games again. Well, not try. I mean, play. Even if I play them by myself. <laughs> Doki Jam, uh, recover laughing gas from the cogs. I guess that just means any of them, because it doesn't specify any particular kind. Hello, oh, Shiver, welcome in. Cogs and doesn't mention a specific type, like for example, if it tells you to kill the cell bots, which are a type of cog, you can kill any of them. Okay. Well, thank you for clarifying that for me. Hello, Angel. Wait, is it how? Wait, let me see if I can pronounce that. Angelska sings. Did I say that right? Either way, welcome in. Hello, it's Eli. Welcome in as well. I already got it. I am just sleepy today, it seems. What's this thing above my character's head? I don't I don't want that there. Can I get rid of that? What is everyone having for dinner? I don't know yet. I don't know, something on the screen looks like a purple cat with rainbow teeth. I th yeah, I think Crowley knows what it is. I have only played, this is only my second time playing this game, so there's a lot that I don't know about it. Um, but Crowley, if you could grace us with your knowledge on what that thing is, I would appreciate it, and I'm sure chat would appreciate it too, because I think we're collectively confused. There might just be one chance there that can help me fix my problems. Well, I'm trying to help you. Is it not good enough? <laughs> you run over to Jesse right away. The shop's here on Silly Street as well. It's called Jesse's Joke Repair. Hey, Harry, I have a class coming in a few hours, and they're all as funny as a pie gone cold. <gasps> not the roast. And it's your lock meter. You can turn it, displaying above your head off in settings. It already disappeared, so I think we're good. But that was... Really weird. And then where is Jesse? At the joke repair place. I don't really know where that is. I don't know if it's down here or somewhere else. Yeah, the message above. So what's important though, by the way, about the laugh meter? Like what's relevant about that. So where am I right now? I need to turn around. I don't like how this ends up having to cover the screen. I don't think they're going to. I think Saturn did something about the creators that are still working on the game. Weren't really, weren't really planning on adding a navigation arrow, but I hope that they do, because that would be nice. I'm really bad at navigating. I mean, it's not impossible without it, it just makes it really difficult. Laugh meter show, so it's like your health bar, kind of. Like your stamina or your health. I got you. Well, 
Welcome, young grasshopper. <laughs> I assume you're here to learn the ancient ways of mending jokes forgotten by most of Toonkind. So much of this game is so unserious, and I'm here for it. In this punchline, this is that the cogs have taken the tools. What I'm trying to say is that if you want my assistance in repairing jokes, all you need to do is find these tools and use them to your advantage. The cogs may have taken them, but you possess the ability to create laughter, laughter that can overtake those who themselves have taken. May be strong in your journey, young tune. I just, I can't get over how silly all of this is. To recover them from the cogs. It just says cogs in general, so... A lot of it's unserious, but there's also like actual serious stuff presented in the lore. Oh, I'm sure. Basically, so that health bar is a reference to SM64's health bar. I, I'm spacing and I don't think I know what that stands for, if you don't mind explaining. Either that or I know what it is and I've forgotten. I am just so sleepy today. I'm going to cause a ringing sensation. Why do they go up in the air like that? Like they just fly away. Lessons place I'm needing to go to is over here. I'm gonna try to find cogs that are nearby just so that way I don't have to search as hard to get back to the place. I'm still, I just don't have anything memorized yet, that's all. See, I wanted to come over here to do that, and then there's like no cogs over here. The audacity. I'm ruining my plans, I see. Well, that one's a level two, but I feel like I could probably take care of it. It's giving Wario from the Mario franchise. <laughs> and so weird things spinning and randomly disappearing? I wish I could just disappear like that sometimes. Oh, rubber stamp? Rude. <laughs> Basically the enemies in the game that you defeat are called cogs and I guess they like fly away like that. It's very weird to me too, but I guess that's what they do. If you see a cog named Duck Shuffler, don't run into him. Noted. I don't remember what my last move was. I missed. Rude. This money belongs to the economy. It belongs to me. You're just rude. Part of me wanted to make another tune just because the customization process was fun. I don't need more than one tune considering I don't really play this terribly often anyways. Did I get the thing or did I not get the thing? No, I didn't. Okay. And then I think those ice creams that are in random places, I think if I collect those, that'll help me. I don't know if they spawn here or if they only spawn in the playground. I don't like the banana peel hat. Not cute. So if this hits and it does good, 
And it did, okay, cool. Well, that was a pretty easy round. I still haven't gotten it. Rude. Hey, Lexi, oh, I wish I had the strength I would assist you. No worries at all, you're completely fine. Welcome in, Alan. Are you just not feeling good at the moment? I think I'm gonna leave and come back to this area because I don't know where all those little ice cream things spawn and I need some. I know that they're in the playground because I've seen them there. I also don't know if I'm going in the right direction, but I'm trying really hard today to see how much I can remember and how well I can figure stuff out without help. I've been running around all day since 5.30 this morning. That's too early. That is way too early for my liking. I um, did not mean to go in there. That's the wrong area. I was so confident, so confident, and then went into the completely wrong spot. But you know what? It's the thought that counts. We can pretend that I was right. I'll just keep this on the screen while I walk around. I like that at least there's like this little blue arrow that helps me to track where I am. But I still would much rather have the navigation arrow. It would be so much more helpful in my humble opinion. <laughs> Okay, I'm seeing the Toontown Central sign, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And hopefully, I can get out without getting pulled. Because I got pulled earlier, and that was not fun. Wait, no, 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 I think I'm going the wrong way again. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not. No, I'm not, okay. I'm gonna stay right here until the sky passes me, because I don't feel like getting pulled. I still need to play Team Town, made a character if I haven't played since OG. Hello, Mountain Dew, welcome in. You should try it. This is only my second time playing, so I'm not used to it yet. I am not the person to go to for game advice. I would suggest like Ashlyn, Crowley, or Saturn. I feel like they're all, they all seem fairly knowledgeable. Um, well, you see, I encourage people to start with Team Town Rewritten because it's like the original Disney version. Keep in mind the corporate class you're playing is also beta. Yeah, I didn't really realize that whenever I first played it the other day and I streamed it, but I'm aware of it now, so I'm a lot more patient with the game than I was before. The navigation setup is like not the greatest, which is that's the only thing that I feel like that's really tripping me up. Everything else I feel like I've clicked with pretty easily and understood fairly well, all things considered. I'm gonna wait till that guy is a little farther away from me to walk across. There we go. I made a Mountain Dew can looking character. I wonder if there's a Mountain Dew can outfit that you can have on Roblox. <laughs> there probably is. I feel like there's outfits for everything there. What console is this on? This is just on PC, but it's free to play. And it's just though, like Alan said, is still in beta at the moment. So like, if there's like any issues here and there, you just gotta be patient with it. I'm gonna take a break from working on that for a moment and I'm gonna go on the trolley games. Crowley, are you on? Cause if you wanna play the games with me, you can. If they've not played as long as I have, you guys were in diapers when that very first came out and I've been playing since the beta days. I'm not trying to be about everything. No, you're fine. It's okay. No, I know what you're saying. I'm not on right now, but I can probably get on in a little bit. Can you play them by yourself or do you like have to play them with other people? Oh, and if you guys, for those of you that weren't here earlier, I'm just gonna go over it one more time really, really fast. Um, I grabbed this water bottle to use instead of my normal one on streams because that one needs to be washed. And this is empty, right? There is nothing in this visibly, right? This is completely empty. And then I like shook it a little bit and it sounded like there was water inside, but there's no water. So I guess somehow some got like trapped on the inside. You probably can't hear it that well, but I swear it sounds like there's water stuck inside of it. 
And I don't understand. You can play them alone? Okay. I got the favoritism that I put up with. I just don't understand who I... Wait, what do you mean? You say Toontown is better than Stardew Valley? Only because you asked nicely. Toontown is better than Stardew Valley. <laughs> yeah, you're good though. I knew what you were saying before. You're fine. <laughs> Wait, I didn't look at the instructions. Love this. I, I love whenever I don't read the instructions on things. <laughs> I really should have paid attention more. That was clipped, can't take it back? No! Delete it. Delete it right now. <laughs> I'm just vibing in the water with these sandwich jellyfish. Because I didn't pay attention to the instructions. But honestly, it's kind of fun. Everybody watching is probably physically cringing, but it's fine. I'm just going for a little swim. A little swimmy swim. <laughs> I'm supposed to, why you shouldn't run into the duck shuffler? He's basically a boss that just wanders around and if you try to fight him alone, um, especially now you will get wrecked respectfully. No, you're fine, I know what you meant. Okay, I'm glad the timer's about to go off because I did not pay attention to the instructions. Rest me out last time. What just happened? You clicked the laugh bar and it went up. Uh, I think that might have been like a pure timing coincidence. Whenever I'm standing in the playground area, similarly to the commons in Wizard 101, um, slowly but surely your health bar and or your laugh meter goes up. Like it regenerates in that area. Catching it. Okay, this one's easy. I can do this. This one's pretty simple. Oh. <laughs> I say as I immediately get smashed by a big iron. These kind of look like tomatoes, like just big tomatoes falling out of the sky. I know they're supposed to be apples, but Y'all think they look more like tomatoes or apples? I think they look more like tomatoes, personally. Oops. Wait, I don't get it though. So if they run into you while I'm playing this, does that just mean that they take away some of your points? Common gameplay, Nico. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, when you're in a playground, your health naturally regenerates. I definitely understand what you mean. I tried starting with rewritten, and it personally wasn't for me. But I do get your reasoning as to why people should start with it. No, I do too. It makes sense. I ended up starting with this regardless, though. But I definitely understand what you mean. And I'm still gonna try rewritten at some point. I haven't yet, but I will. I mean, who knows? Because I've streamed this and I haven't streamed rewritten yet, I might keep this as like a stream thing and then play rewritten in my downtime. This is something to play for fun. Um, we'll see, who knows? Maybe I'll stream my first impression of it. Um, but for right now, this is the only version that I've streamed. Here be dinner, you're good, Mike, take your time. I personally prefer Clash because I find it a lot more beginner friendly and a lot um, a lot more fun because of the things Clash has added. 
I can't give my opinion on that though just because I haven't tried rewritten for myself so I don't want to just say something just to say it. But I'll for sure be trying it at some point. I didn't think they were going to be touching me, but okay. Also, I feel like they're starting to walk faster and it's stressing me out. I feel like I did pretty good, considering I'm basically multitasking. Oh yeah, you're good too, you're fine. I hope you enjoy your lurk, I mean, you're not lurking, but same thing here. To be honest, whenever I'm in somebody else's stream, if I am just need to like BRB for a moment, I end up saying, wait, hold on. Play with dance sequence. I will try, but no promises. Yeah, I use BRB and lurk interchangeably. Left, right, left, right. You basically just have to copy it move for move, I guess. Left, right, left, right, left, 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 right, left, left. Those are some pretty funky dance moves. <laughs> left, right, left, right. Left, right. Right, left, left, up, left. I think that's what it was. I'm only saying it out loud to myself because I feel like it helps me to remember. Looks like a ninja, she lurks in the shadows a lot. I do, no, literally. I chat in people's streams too, plenty of times, but I also lurk a ton. Um, I'm gonna skip this one. <laughs> I love how I'm only playing the ones that I like, that I'm confident with. I just did this one. So I'm only gonna skip it because I just did that. Hopefully I find it. I just did that one too. Oh wait, what is this? Click a number, choose wise. You only have only advance if no one else has picked the same number. Oh, I like this. Okay. For some reason, whenever I first saw it though, I like it looked like some kind of really basic hopscotch. Fun fact, sometime in summer of last year, I think it was confirmed that two of the COG characters are in an LGBTQ relationship, and I think that's epic because it's not portrayed as a big deal. It's usually casually mentioned in the dialogue and stuff. Well, regardless of how much it's mentioned, I think it's wonderful that that's being included in games more often now. What, we chose the same one twice? Stop choosing what I'm choosing. <laughs> Wait, so if the telemarketer got money, then what do I get? <laughs> I agree, they don't, um, they don't really make it out to be like a big huge deal, which I also think it's nice. It's mentioned occasionally though. Two new characters and they're reaching trolley level 10. You have gained a laugh boost? What's a laugh boost? I don't know how much it's gonna cost me, but the pet shop I find very intriguing. I wanna go see. I'm back here to sell fish to the pet shop for jelly beans. Well, I wanna buy a pet. I wanna buy a pet, can I not do that? I don't understand. Got a high five and a good job. <laughs> but that felt so unfair because the cog got money and I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's our currently in game since they were literally breaking it. They exist on rewritten, but not on Clash. So then what's the point of the pet store? Also, if you're wondering what this is, it's the Burt's Beast to the Chapstick in the shade Red Dahlia, but I got bored at one point and I ripped the label off and now the bottle is sticky. Or not bottle, but two. You know what I mean? I'll go back then. I haven't been to Luffy Lane before. I don't know if anything complicated is going to be in here, but I'm going to look anyways. Actually, I'm going to go to a different district because I want to go to just like the least busy one possible or one of them. Filter Summit is a normal district. There are currently no ongoing invasions. Sounds pretty good. That's not what I was trying to click, Bestie. There. <laughs> I feel like it switched it around. Hello, Sedef. Welcome in. So I guess it just sent me back to the playground. I'm going to go back over there. This is, I feel like I didn't really get a chance to look at everything. I'm gonna go to the clothing store at some point, but right now I need to stay focused and not get super distracted. How are you? I'm good, thank you for asking, how are you? I mean, I'm a little sleepy today, but like, other than that, I'm good. Okay, staying away from that one immediately, because that one is too advanced for me. <laughs> but none of them are a low enough level for me at the moment and I'm not gonna go super far in yet just because I've never really been to this street before and I don't wanna get super lost, so I'm gonna go back to one of the other ones. I'm gonna go my trip is tomorrow. I hope you have fun, please be safe. An example of what I mean by it being mentioned in passing is in dialogue from one of the two cogs I'm talking about, they say, Graham said I should stop letting people walk all over me, so. I like the two cogs I'm talking about. Um, I'm confused a little bit right now, though. Hello, J-Man. Welcome to the Hello, Dawn. Welcome in as well. Graham is the actual name of the other cog in their relationship. Oh, okay. Makes a little more sense now. Love playing Toontown Rewritten. Played Corporate Clash, but couldn't get into it much. That's definitely fine. Welcome in, by the way. I haven't tried Rewritten, actually, but I'm definitely going to at some point. I don't know if I'm going to stream rewritten? Wait, where's the punchline place? I don't know if I'm going to stream rewritten, but I definitely will try it at some point, for sure. I'm so excited for some warm weather. Sorry if I'm looking eating dinner. No, you're going to be fine. My streams are very, very friendly. I mean, I ask a lot of random questions sometimes and do a lot of random polls, but this is a very lurk-friendly channel. What's everybody's food craving of the day, by the way? I try to ask during a lot of my streams, but I forget sometimes. <laughs> I mean, just running towards the screen. Like, so I'd like to see a Toontown game called Rewind where you could play as the cogs and play as the bad guy and prank the tunes. That would add, genuinely, that sounds like a really cool concept. I would try that. Could you imagine if there was some si type of alternate version of Wizard 101 with that same idea where it's like we play as the quote unquote bad guys and we're trying to stop all of these young wizards from saving the world? Like that would be a really cool perspective to try. It's been really cold here. It's finally warmed up and stay warmed here. Whenever it was the winter time, like trying to become spring for a while, it was like rapid back and forth. Cold, warm, cold, warm, cold, warm, hot, hot, warm, cold. 
Um, but it's finally staying warm, so that's nice. The humidity, however, is not nice, and I don't like it. I guess I just have to keep defeating cogs until I get whatever that is. What level is that? Oh, that's fine. I can do that one. Spaghetti? I was craving sushi earlier. What is this root pie slice, and where did it come from? I don't remember what I just used, so... I might have just wasted a, a lure, but it's fine. I love that I can hear the washer going off from here. It's got one of the ones that like does like a little jingle sound every time that it's done. I can hear it all the way in here with my headphones on. Okay, so I can go back to Jesse now, but I think that's on Silly Street, isn't it? And I'm not in Silly Street, so let me just go ahead and leave. Considered I'm learning pretty quickly, I'm proud of myself. Part of me is really tempted though to make another tune just for the sake of customizing a character, because customizing characters is fun. Rewritten is pretty much the original. Yeah, because I know with the OG Toontown, that game had to eventually be cancelled. I don't know what other word to use. Not cancelled, like the way that social media uses that word, but like cancelled isn't like it just wasn't functioning anymore, I guess. Um, and then a bunch of fans recreated the game and they called it Toontown Rewritten. In fact, you know what? Maybe I will go ahead and do like a first impression stream of Rewritten since I've never played it before, but I make no promises if I'll continue to stream it afterwards, because that just depends on how much I end up liking it. And I don't want to just like say that I'll stream it a bunch if I'm not going to. I'm almost there. I'm facing the wrong way, actually. There we go. For some reason, I thought that I had to go to that laughing lessons place, and that's why I was like, wait, I don't think this is the right spot. Okay, most of the bad guys in Wizard 101 were treating like trash and were in sorrow and turned to hate. So I became the bad guy because I thought the world turns against them. And that is just honestly so depressing when you really just sit and think about it. it makes me almost like kind of feel bad for them. Exactly as I expected, you have risen above and beyond the and found my tools. Okay, here's the punchline. You are the tools. Excuse me? <laughs> what did you just call me? <laughs> it's been within you all along. You have the ability to fix any joke you desire. Just kidding, in all honesty, these are the actual joke repair tools. Well, which one is it? Make up your mind. You can't just say both back and forth. Joke repair tool. Okay, now I need to go to the laughing lessons place. Okay. I'm gonna need to go across. Go this way. Oh yeah, I, I know I know where to go. I say that confidently this time. Which match if I felt like I was truly finally confident, like I just said, and then I immediately got it wrong. 
That'd be embarrassing. It looks like Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> he kind of does. In fact, let's give it another shot. What does a clock do when it's hungry? I'm gonna try and figure it out. What does a clock do when it's hungry? Something about the number eight, I'm thinking. Oh, <laughs> goes back for seconds. I get it. I'm gonna use that. But the thing is, we say four, like four, but then like, in terms of like the four, like F-O-R, I pronounce it as fur habitually. So I guess that joke technically works, but the pronunciation is like completely different. Which game has the best music? Toontown, Wizard 101, Stardew, or Animal Crossing? I feel like though, that's a bit harder to answer because it depends on which Animal Crossing you're talking about. Because some of them have much better music than others. Like Animal Crossing New Leaf has great music. New Horizons, like I still like the music, but it's not as good as New Leaf. Um, let me think. If Animal Crossing New Leaf counts as an answer, then I'm gonna say New Leaf, just because I loved the soundtrack. It varied a lot, and like each individual song that played hourly um, was very unique. That, and you have all the KK Slider songs, so I'll, I'll say New Leaf, that counts. Let's see if I can get back without using the map this time. About four, I love the ACMH Mystery Island theme. Wait. Why am I spacing on what you mean? I feel like it's something that should be obvious and it's just like not clicking in my head. Speaking of Animal Crossing, I, okay, let me backtrack a little bit. So I was hanging out in April Honey's stream today because it's her birthday and I was, you know, trying to hang out and support her. I try to support people, especially if it's something, it's like a really big stream for something important or if it's like their birthday and so on. So I was hanging out, she was streaming Animal Crossing and looking at it made me want to play. Like it just gave me a really strong urge to go and play it. But I explained in her chat that for me, it's at a point where New Horizons is like The Sims 4 for me, where I randomly will get the urge to play it and then I'll play it for maybe like a couple of days, maybe like be really into it for like up to a month, like no more than like two months at a time. And then as soon as that urge goes away, I will not play for months. And I still really like the game. It's just, again, what I just explained that and then there's no new content in the game anymore so i almost never have a reason to play other than whenever i have the urge to i don't know i kind of miss animal crossing again we we're asking about how to pronounce it. oh no i meant the other message about the acnh mystery island theme I hope next game is city with terraforming i really hope my one of my biggest dreams with the next Animal Crossing game is to be able to choose what type of town or island, whatever it is, to be able to choose that. Like, to have the option between a town or an island would be great. At least between those two, like at the very least, that'd be great. But I feel like for the next Animal Crossing, no, because for a lot of the past games, like the older ones, you would have a town of some sort, right? And the New Horizons was the first to have, you'd have, like be on your own island. So I was about to be like, well, I feel like if they did an island again, like it would feel too repetitive. But then that doesn't make any sense to say because back to back the older games was always town. So I guess they technically could. Overall though, I would love to be able to have the option between a town or an island. I think that'd be great. Imagine this song, if you go stuck in an elevator and this was playing, that would make me want to rip my hair out eventually. I'm assuming you mean this sound playing in Toontown right now. I think that with Sims 4 too, but I mostly only play a creative sim anyways. Creating sims is fun. We are talking about which Animal Crossing game had the best music and you said New Horizons didn't have as good of themes as New Leaf.
Wait. Okay, then I guess I'm just not remembering the right song then, because I, I, I was still confused. But thank you for explaining it to me. Is it Bumpy Bubble Bear? Love the name. Not me going back to the games. They're fun. But I said what I said. Animal Crossing New Leaf, in my opinion, had the best music. I actually had an Animal Crossing song be the starting Zoom screen music today. Shoot, okay, I just, wait, skip, 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 skip. Um, I just remembered I was supposed to text a certain someone about something later that's happening after the stream, and it's very important. I try not to use my phone during streams, but I just remembered, and I was supposed to do this, so. Oopsies, I'm gonna do that now. I'll be fast, I promise. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. I try not to do that. Um, not that one. I don't like that one, unless I'm playing with other people. As long as I can terraform, I don't care if it's an island or a town. Fair enough. Rain games, try to swim through as many of the purple rings as you can. Use your movement keys to swim. Wait, so what happens if I swim through a ring that's not purple? Oh, okay, I missed it. I tried though. And that's what counts, right? The fact that there was effort made. Imagine if the bottom of the ocean was like this barren. Cause there's like nothing in here. Speaking of the ocean, our oceans on earth are low key so scary when you think about it. Because we've only explored a small percentage of the oceans. Like there is so much that we haven't explored or seen yet. So to think of what could be down there is kind of scary to me. Hello, April, welcome in. Thank you for getting a link uh, for April, by the way. I appreciate it. Happy birthday. Could you guys say happy birthday to April for me? Please and thank you. I already said happy birthday to you earlier, but I'm gonna say it again. If that's the case, don't go to Point Nemo. <laughs> I've not played New Leaf, but I think next game should have best parts of both games, plus the personalities of the first games. I've only played AC and H. And AC and H was never a bad game. I just was saying about the music that I like New Leaf's music better. Came back from dinner. Welcome back, Megs. Imagine what the largest mammal really is. Right. That, and then think about how many sea creatures might exist that we have no idea about yet. This one I failed at miserably last time, but we're gonna try. Oh. <laughs> I just like went through the wood. Thank you, of course, you're welcome. I hope you had a good birthday. Did you end up getting the Korean barbecue, by the way? Because I know that you were debating on what to get for your birthday dinner. And I still went right above it. Oh, that's too high up. <laughs> My perception with this game is not good. <laughs> Did you want an Olive Garden? I think I've had Olive Garden before, I think. I'm not totally sure. Maybe we'll just call this swimming in the air. Just a second. Um, okay. 
I may have to go on a BRB screen right now, actually. Um, the person I was talking to and... Hold on. Okay. This is really random, I'm sorry, but I have to take care of something really quickly. I will try to be fast, um, so hold on a sec.
Okay, so I'm still not 100% Excuse me, I can't talk. I'm still not 100% sure if I'll need to end it early or not, but heads up, I may need to. Um, long story short, somebody is coming by to pick me up tonight, and uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna be like now, or if that's gonna be in a little bit, so I'm waiting to see. But for right now, hi. <laughs> We could hang out and talk a little bit longer until I know for sure. I do want to go in this clothing shop though and see what there is because I'm very curious and I wanted to go in here earlier. Never mind, it's closed for renovations. I can't go in. But we'll pretend that I saw some really nice clothes. We'll just pretend. <laughs> I also don't know what's in the Toontown library, but we'll see. Shh, be quiet. I wasn't even talking, but okay. I'm gonna come up and sit with me. Hello, Athena. I'm still just kind of waiting on a, um, a text at the moment so I can find out if I need to end early or not. I don't know how to go fishing, but I'm going to try. You can drag down from the cast button. The farther down you drag, the stronger your cast will be. Adjust your ankle to hit the fish targets. Try it now. So click and drag down from the cast button. Okay. was not very good. I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave this area before I embarrass myself. That person seems like they have more experience than I do. Are you liking this game? I do! The only thing is that it's in beta right now, so sometimes if it, like, acts a little funny, that does get a bit frustrating, but I'm trying my best to be patient with it. I also gave myself a really ridiculous name on purpose because I thought it was funny. Um, so whenever they address me in the game, they call they literally call me word for word, lucky, lucky, razzle dazzle. I'm having Nestle strawberry cheesecake drumsticks ice cream. That is a mouthful, but that sounds delicious. I guess I'm just gonna go back to the games for the time being. Oh, April, by the way, whenever I was at your stream earlier, I answered your question about the sushi restaurants, but I didn't know if you saw it, so I just was going to tell you they've got a couple of locations in Texas, uh, but there's this restaurant called Cura, and it's basically, you go in and you sit down, everything is fairly self-serve, you get your sushi off of a conveyor belt, like you just, like, it, like it has food on it, and you're just like, oh, I think that looks good, I want to try that, so you pick up the little plate, and you can also obviously you can have drinks. And then if you want a really specific thing off of the menu. Uh, yeah, if you want something really specific off the menu, you can just click that on their little screen and a little, I think either the robot brings it to you or the conveyor belt does. <laughs> I was not paying attention. But it's really cool. A little robot brings you your drinks and whatnot and can also bring you other dishes. <laughs> I'm not doing as good this time, but it's okay. I just can't multitask very well. <laughs> that is so many to remember. Oh, look in California and Hawaii, it was so cool. Yeah, have you been to one with a conveyor belt? I've never done sushi like that, it's good. The only thing is last time that I went to it, I accidentally got one that had one of my allergens in it and um, I was fine, like it was like the teensiest bit in the world. Thankfully, I also don't have a severe allergy. It just made my stomach hurt really bad. Cog thief, stop these cogs from stealing our gags. I don't wanna play that one, no thank you. Yeah. I'm back, welcome back to the stream. Yeah. Press left or light, right to change facing and jump. The lower you are on the vine, the faster you jump off. Collect the bananas if you can. Excuse me, but avoid the bats and the spiders. I need more practice at this one. 
See, that's exactly what I mean whenever I say that I need more practice. Oh. <laughs> this is so silly. This whole game is so unserious. I have. What's your favorite kind of sushi to get? I don't know when I'm supposed to jump. I did this last time and I was not good at it. Okay, there we go. Um, maybe I can get that banana? I don't know how I jumped up that high, but apparently I did. I'm not even getting any of the bananas, but honestly, I'm just proud of myself for not falling as much. I mean, it's better than what I got last time. I, I think I did better this time. Channel your inner Tarzan, <laughs> right? Are for. I don't know if Crowley's here anymore, so I can't ask him. Immediately no, because my aim is really bad with it. I like the apple game though, even though the apples look like tomatoes. Sometimes when I'm in the middle of these because I want to make sure I don't miss a message. But then like I either miss the thing I'm trying to catch or the irons just squash me. I guess maybe if I look at the shadow, maybe the way that I can tell which one is which. I think the apples fall down a lot slower than the irons do. See that iron thing or whatever it is just fell really, really fast. So if I look at the shadow, maybe I can tell that way. And welcome back, Angelica Sings. I don't know if I said welcome back already. So if I didn't, welcome back. Tap your left and right movement keys, just fast enough to line up the green bar with the red line. win this one. I do get how to play though. I'm just not that good at it. I don't like the way that it was doing that little dance to make fun of my character. I'll get you next time. I think I have an actual quest to be doing now. I feel like they're called tasks in this game, but quest, task, same thing. It's in the 2 and HQ playground to more control, okay. Well, I know where that is. That's not hard to find. That's not what I meant to do. I was not trying to go fishing. Make sure I didn't miss the update from that person. No, I didn't. Okay. This, maybe they're on the other side? Oh, there you are, friend. I am lucky, lucky Razzle Dazzle. <laughs> Welcome to the team. I'm Bumpy. I'm always happy to see new recruited tunes, especially ones so eager to help out. So I'm really just a big round happy bear seeing you run around here. I do have a few issues that are rather pressing that I can't handle here from the base of operations. I need you to head out to these places and assist these tunes for me. Nurse Nancy is the most important one that I can think of for right now. 
taking all of these injured and sickly tunes of the resistance so it's our duty to help. She's tried a number of creative boo-boo solutions, but she's confident in blue for some reason. So glue it is. Head on over to Sticky Lou at Blue Glue Direct to you. It's on the screen. That was a tongue twister. Make sure you get the really pretty stuff when you're injured in need medical assistance. Some colorful glue will surely cheer you up. I feel like gophers die in the glue. There's no way that can be good for a wound. Like, if you put like some kind of glue or ointment or something, some kind of cream on a wound that you have and it has a bunch of dye in it, there's no way that's gonna be good for that. It's just not. I have a question, are you a breakfast person? Only when there's specific breakfast foods available because I'm very picky about certain breakfast foods. Um, but I guess so, kind of, kind of, sort of. A lot of the times in the morning, I feel like I won't really eat breakfast, but it's only because either we don't have any of the stuff that I like, or I just straight up don't have an appetite in the morning. Okay, now where is that character store? That blue glue. Definitely, definitely gonna need the map this time. I really wanna make sure I don't get pulled into any of these battles. I think a lot of these cogs are a bit too high level for me at the moment, at least out of what I'm used to playing against. I barely made that. Please don't pull me. Okay. There are so many of them right now. Earlier I was looking for some and it felt like none of them were spawning. It was weird. See it. Okay, there we go. I'm a breakfast for person on vacation. Me too. I get what you're saying. Hey there, buddy. You uh, wanting something? <laughs> oh yeah, glue. That's great. I'd be glad to help you out, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm literally stuck to the floor. If nope, just spilled all my glue right onto my feet. You might ask why I didn't just react right away and move them. Well, it's a valid question. I started daydreaming. <laughs> Mood. Now you might ask what daydream could have possibly been so good that I didn't notice my dire circumstance. This is awkward, but since you're stuck here with me for now, I guess I'll come clean. I've always wanted to be a mime. Yes, that's right, a mime. I just kind of get lost daydreaming about it often, and I'd be lying if I didn't say I ended up in this sticky situation a time or two about once a week. I'll make a deal with you. You can get me a reservation for the Merry Mimes on Silly Street. I'll personally give you all this glue that's currently stuck to me for free. checking in. Ooh, okay, random, but you know what other food now? Because you're talking about breakfast food. Sounds really good is cinnamon rolls. I would love a good cinnamon roll right now. I'm so sorry. I always feel so bad whenever I'm on my phone during a live stream, but I have good reason right now because I don't want to accidentally ignore this person if they're like, I'm here or like, I'm on the way. Because that would not be good. Obtaining reservation ticket from Silent Simone. It's giving Sandy Cheeks from SpongeBob. <laughs> At the Merry Mimes. Okay, well, where is that? I don't know what these yellow things are. Wait, 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 where did it say it was? Okay, it's in Silly Street. That would make sense as to why I was like, I don't see it on this map. <laughs> where are the Toontown Central signs? I think that one's pointing to this way, so I'm gonna go over here. 
If I had to tell you my favorite thing about this game so far is just how unserious all of it seems to be. Probably was explaining earlier that some of it is more serious when you like delve into the lore. But for the most part, like on a surface level, it's very silly. And I like that. It says Daffy Diner, but for some reason I thought it said Diaper Diner, and I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Ew. I didn't mean to run into them, but I'm sure I'll be okay, right? My sister told me something today and it's kind of true. She said she didn't like sparkling water because it tastes like TV static. I agree. Makes sense. I'm so excited for churros and tacos when I'm in Mexico for my trip, especially because they're going to be a lot more authentic than what you can get here. I mean, we're from two different places, but like, you know what I mean. I like the little dancey dance my character does. By the way, if you have not already, please be sure to like the live stream. It is completely free and a very easy way to support me. Thank you so much. Okay, there's Silly Street. I'm gonna get one of the ice creams. Oh, it's because I don't need it. All right. Well, I guess that's good. Alright, now we'll pull up the map. I'm right here to go around and okay, I don't need to go terribly far. Like kind of far. But it shouldn't be too too bad. I think for like the first part of the stream, I feel like for a good 10 minutes I was wondering around like where am I supposed to go? Only to find out that I was on the wrong street the whole time. It's like, well, no wonder I couldn't find where I was trying to go. It wasn't even on that street. You gotta learn somehow, though. Okay, I found the place. Go in. miming and I just I can't read, even read the dialogue for it but I also can't see the rest of her body so I don't know what fully what she's trying to tell me but I guess my character somehow knows oh she went into the ceiling okay and then what does this say now I'm hoping they fix that shakiness in the game soon Maybe it's something with the sensitivity settings, but I tried adjusting that earlier and I feel like it didn't really help. And I think the other place was just... You know, I'll just change districts. It'll teleport me automatically. The playground. I don't feel like trying to go and find it right now. Well, I know a catalog is, but the way they spell it in the game makes it seem like it's something different. Where is it? Loopy Lane. was the building last time. It's like seemingly at the end, unfortunately. So 
It might take me a moment to get there, but it's okay. I will get there when I get there. Actually, I feel like the walking pace in this game, I mean, obviously you, you have running as an option, but the walking pace in this game feels decently fast to me. What? I see it, okay. I don't, I don't need that anymore. and it seems so much easier than I thought it would be. But I kind of ended up in a little bit more of a pickle since you were gone. I went straight to work trying to unstick this glue for me and unstick me from this glue. And it turns out my hands aren't exactly the right tool for this and I'm kind of stuck even more. If you can find maybe like a spatula or a stick or something, we can use that to unstick me and you can take all this glue for free. So is that another task that I have to do now? Recover an unsticking object from a cog. Okay, well, I'll just have to go do that now. to make sure that I don't miss a message from this person. Okay. Oh, goody, lunchtime. Well, you're not gonna eat me. Not today. No, thank you. Did I not do enough damage the first time? I guess not. Right, so they should be dead now. Alright, did I get it? I did not, okay. I'm gonna go to this level one then, just because that one will go a lot faster. Perfect timing, I need a quick bite. Then go get, I don't know, Wingstop or something. Wingstop is always my suggestion, and I love Wingstop. I looked up and that character was a bit of a jump scare. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did not end up having to go very far. Like, I'm literally right here already, which is super convenient. Let me just pry it off here now. Ouch! <laughs> Imagine though, like, if you had glue all over your feet and it stuck you to the floor, how much that would actually hurt getting that off. And I'm like, Cringing a little bit thinking about it. Just tell them to ignore any colorful hairs. It's decorative blue. Ew. Nasty. Not okay. Right, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and open it again. I don't necessarily need to do this, but I'm doing it anyways because I like how it's basically like a free teleportation to get back to the playground. do something so that way it stops. I don't really get what it does or what it is, to be honest. Wow, 
Wow, you seem to solve that quick. Oh, what are these hairs? <laughs> Decorative glue? I'm no simpleton, lucky, lucky, razzle-lazzle. I'm very smart. I know mouse hairs when I see them. This just clearly won't cut it. We can't be unsanitary. Go back and get some fresh and preferably unused glue, please. I don't want to do all that again, though. I already had to help this mouse. Just take the hairy glue and melt it down to use it. Take all the hairs out. I want to get a pet, but they're not really done in this game. Okay, so I do technically have a little bit of time left to stream. However, um, that person's still coming to get me fairly soon, and I need to make sure I have all of my stuff ready. So I think I'm gonna go like a. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go now. It, I have 15 minutes left, but I, I hope that that's okay. Um, I do want to talk to you for a moment before I go off or anything. So I'm sorry that I've been so repetitive about this, but I do have a site-wide sale going on right now for my merch site. Everything is 30% off. Uh, that link should pop up in chat in just a second for you guys. And just another reminder about something else. I currently don't have a set schedule for my streams due to how um, unpredictable my personal life is at the moment so if you want to stay in loop about all things updated about my community whether it's videos streams shorts etc all things and just to be able to communicate with me I would highly recommend joining the server especially because that is where I reside a lot of the time um, but with that being said thank you so much for coming to my stream thank you for liking thank you for subscribing and if you haven't already I would really appreciate it if you could I'm stuttering over my own words a little bit I did not mean to say that sentence that way but you know what I mean subscribing is free if you'd like to um I don't know what that person is saying because it's not in English but I hope it's not something inappropriate anyways I'll see y'all next time bye everybody